Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spett. It's currently the evening of the 14th of November, 2023, heading overnight into our Wednesday morning. We're going to be tracking still this low pressure area out here, um, moving over Yap in Palau. Now, it is true, a lot of the warnings have been dropped on this. It is not expected to come on shore as a typhoon from JTWC, JMA, or Pegasa. But for those of you here along the uh, east coast of Asayas and uh, southeastern Luzon, especially, uh, it's not going to be sunshine and flowers this weekend. Uh, we are going to be looking at this interacting with that shear line towards north, creating this kind of a training effect, this funneling effect with loads of rainfall in the forecast and gusty coastal conditions as well. And also, we're still watching this for possible regeneration coming out of it. Even JTBC did say that in their discussion on their final warning of this, saying, you know, it still could get its act together. This is the Philippine Sea. I would never let your guard down completely on these areas. And I want to make sure I stress that to people. I think a lot of people are like, whew, thank goodness. And yes, we're not getting a super typhoon, but there is still going to be some impacts. Uh, from this. So let's look at the broader picture. And yeah, you can see here you have uh, your uh, shear line set up, which is right there in the yellow. That's where we have our shear line. Your low pressure area struggling still to form just towards the south. And then we got that cold surge. We're actually bringing some pretty decent snowfall back here across Japan. That's why all these cold weather clouds coming in. It's that interaction between that, our tropical uh, weather down here is creating these thunderstorms across southeastern. Luzon, uh, even extending off towards Sierra Madre Mountains. You see where some of the heaviest of this precipitation is set up just right in there uh, like that. And that's some areas can see one to two, three hundred millimeters of rainfall over the course of of the next few days so let's uh, look ahead here this is through thursday heading into friday you got your low pressure area trying to organize i mean if the ecmwf has its way we could have another tropical depression at this point but it just won't be very symmetrical uh this is not going to be a pretty storm system and may not even be warned on but Look at this by Saturday and the Sunday. You still get that squeezing, and I've been talking about this for a week now, this potential for that monsoonal flow to interact here, and it pushes those winds on shore. So let's take a look at some of our icons here. Look at these. Uh, 8 kilometers per hour, upwards of 40 kph just offshore of Legaspi, just offshore of Tacloban. You're looking at 30, 40 kilometers per hour. And then these winds really, look at this, upwards of 50. Uh, that is just that onshore flow getting squeezed, so it is definitely gale force conditions. Maybe not super typhoon, but not a not a beach day um, with that persistent rainfall uh, kicking on shore. And you know what? Let's take a little bit of a closer look at some of these precipitation outlooks. Uh, this is with the ECMWF I'm showing you here. And we'll just zoom right in on a few of these locations. So this is over the next five days. I mean, yeah, you're getting one, 200 millimeters of total rainfall, pushing it back towards the north. And yeah, this is just that precipitation getting squeezed in here in places like Shargao, one 150 millimeters of total precipitation coming out of that. So yeah, it, it is um, some wet, wet weather uh, getting pushed on shore here. So you see the overall pressure gradient here, uh, just kind of giving you an, uh, an indicator of what I'm talking about with that next cold surge, tightening up the pressure and then watch this. Uh, here comes that surge, here comes that interaction, and it just gets set up right there and squeezes that moisture on shore. So, uh, yeah, like I said, may not be a full-on typhoon in your forecast, especially through this weekend, but not sunshine and flowers. That's my meteorological quote of the day there, friends. So, Legaspi, places like that for tomorrow. Rojas, thunderstorms. I've never seen this icon on here before. I guess that means mountain clouds in Baguio. 25, 15 for the low. A little bit of uh, mountain clouds, it looks like. Or some fog and trees. I'm not quite sure what Weatherscape's trying to tell me there. <laughs> I have to update... Um, this uh, super typhoon and typhoon graphics. We got some new people uh, on here. And uh, on my next update, I'll have it in there. A few of you have just joined up. Big thanks. Uh, thank you very much. Actually, I have a separate specific graphic. I got about uh, three, four new people that have just signed up. And huge thanks, guys. Uh, you are what make these updates possible. And I can't thank you guys uh, enough. So as always, thanks for watching. You are all awesome. And, uh, yeah, let's keep tracking this. Let's not let our guard down. We're always going to keep you posted. Also watching 96W, by the way, which is uh, 
well back here towards the east. Some of the guidance even showing this area trying to form up and like run out towards Guam potentially. Um, you know, that's further down the road. We'll keep an eye on it. First and foremost, let's watch the one we have right now. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.